Kalashnikov Concern subsidiary Sol Aero Group created the Lancet drone. Unveiled in 2019, it was put to the test in Syria almost immediately. Although it has some potential as a surveillance drone, its main use is as a loitering weapon. The range of the Lancet is 40 kilometers, and it can strike a wide variety of targets. Among the rare breed of drones capable of aerial warfare is the Zala Lancet. In essence, it may make a vertical dive toward them and knock them completely out of the sky. Lancet has a maximum weight of 12 kilograms and can carry a maximum payload of 3 kilograms. The warhead may be made to penetrate armor, or it can be a fragmentation warhead to destroy less heavily protected vehicles and people. The Lancet is launched by a very mobile pneumatic mechanism. Small patrol boats may have integral Lancet launchers added to them. The results of the Lancet against Ukraine's defenses seem to be pretty positive, unfortunately. According to reports, Lancet was used to counter Ukrainian S-300 and Bakum-1 air defense missile systems, a D-64 tank, Western-supplied M-777 and FH-70 howitzers, and M-109, Ascrab and Caesar self-propelled howitzers. Artillery was a major focus of the Lancet drone's attacks. Russian invaders might use this drone to locate and destroy artillery pieces after they have suffered damage. When it came to long-range strategic str Throughout the fighting, Lancet drones successfully attacked more than 100 Ukrainian targets, according to open-source intelligence organization Oryx. A revised edition is presently in the works. Alexander Kovalenko, a military observer, posted on Telegram about Russian intentions to test the upgraded Zala Lancet's and Kamikaze drone on Ukrainian battlefields. Unlike the standard Lancet, Lancetson has its special qualities. The main difference is that the heat anti-tank warhead is more powerful, the airframe is more robust, and the targeting system is more sophisticated. Kovalenko raises the issue of where the Russians got the components for such upgrading, particularly the optics, given that sanctions were meant to make it exceedingly difficult for Russia to develop contemporary... The first mentions of Lancetsum in the Russian press were in December 2022. Russian propagandists, however, were at a loss to describe the specifics of this drone due to its apparent classification. Propagandists in Russia claimed in January 2023 that the Lancetsum had begun attacking Ukrainian armored vehicles, 